What's up you guys, Jacob Darkblade here, and now it's time to reveal the newest Vex IQ challenge for the 2018 season. Vex IQ challenge. Ring Master. Now, as last time, I'm going to read the game description, give a little bit of analysis of it. Won't be a, hopefully it's not a super long video as last time. I know it was only 19 minutes, how long, like, give it take, but... Let's go ahead and read the bit of the description. Ringmaster is played on a 4 foot by 8 foot rectangular field configured as seen above. Two alliances compete in the teamwork challenge as an alliance in 60 second, 60 second long teamwork matches. Working collaboratively to score points. Teams also compete in the robotic skills challenge where one robot takes a field to score as many points as possible. These matches consist of driving skills matches, which will be entirely driver controlled, and programming skills matches, which will be autonomous with limited human interactions. The school or objects in the game is to attain, well, the goal of the game is to obtain the highest scoring score by scoring colored rings on the floor goal and on posts by having uniform posts by emptying start starting pegs, and by releasing the bonus tray. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go into my good old-fashioned... That? Races from last time. So, here's the field right here. These... I'm going to do it in black. I'm going to do it in black. These are the starting pegs. If you take the rings off those starting pegs, you'll get extra points. I think it's like five points for removing all the things on the pins, or on the pegs. This is the bonus tray. Now, I'm going to actually go back, zoom in a bit. Now, I think this is either... You either pull or push these little yellow things right here. I'm going to go here. Erase that. You either pull or push these. By doing so, you'll release all those extra um rings, which you could then add to the post um, over on the other side of the board for extra points. And also, you get a 20-point bonus. So basically, how... You would get the balance on the bridge um, from this year crossover. This line mean, that gave you 25, this is giving you 20. Which can change the game on, on a dime. And also with those extra pegs, you will get a lot more... It will be a lot easier for you to score more. Now how you build your robot, that's how you decide. So it could possibly... Maybe like you can have a robot that picks... All of those rings up and then you can deploy the tray. That's up to you. I don't exactly know how the rules go. So I don't know if you could exactly do that or not. I think nothing would be wrong with it. So. Let's get into the details. There are a total of 60. 60. Now that's a huge number. Especially for an IQ game. We've. I don't think we've ever seen a game with 60 game objects. I mean 60 jam, game objects on the field. Um, rings available on the scoring objects, I mean, as scoring objects in the game, those are the rings. There are seven posts to score on, one floor goals, I don't know why they did goals, as it's, um, not plural, three starting pegs, and one bonus tray on the field. Each ring scored on the floor goal is one point, so I'm not sure I can get the best view of it, but anything... I'm just going to do an area. Anything behind. That's bad. Anything pretty much behind. This line. That's pretty much behind the ring, the post. Is one point. Now let's erase that. Now. Ring scored on a post. Or five points each. So. If I put, like, a bunch of greens and a reds on this tall post right here, they'll each be worth five points. I'm not going to do that because that's pointless. 
Oh god, I accidentally pressed the wrong thing. No! No! What a failure. I'm a failure. I'm gonna die. But, um... Each ring scored on a uniform post are 10 points each. Now, this is where the game gets a bit interesting. I want to kind of zoom in. I think a lot of people are going to be trying to go, actually go for the um the uniform unless they're like in time crunching. Or like if you have all the I'm just doing that. You have four rings on that one post. They're all worth 10 points. So you get 40 points off that post. Now, if you have Let's say a blue. I'm using that as red. The success. If you have three red and a blue, they're all going to sadly be worth one, five points. So you'd still get 20 points off that. And then so on. These also right here, these little posts on the side, those also count as posts. That's why I'm seeing like a lot of people potentially using the advantage of just like hooking all those up and putting them on the posts. Um, which I'm, that's how you build it. And then each empty starting pegs were five points. So these pegs on the side of the board, if they're empty, they're each worth five points. And then releasing the bonus tray is 20 points. Which, as I showed, it's either a push or pull tab, I think. So, what's my opinion of this game? I love this game. Now, this is probably one of the most critical thinking games probably that we've ever seen in Vax Robotics. Um, IQ challenges? With this being now you have to... I see a big combination of claws in this game. I know what's my, idea, what's my thing of claws. I just think that a lot of you will be using claws to pick up the rings. Because if they can make a claw to pick up like five or six rings at once, or like have a claw that has like treads, so he could potentially like pick some up, raise them up, pick up more, like how they did with um Stack Attack, I think it was, where you had all the blocks, do something like that, they'll do really well in this competition. This is not. One where if you're just starting robotic, you will probably not automatically get. This is one of the most challenging. This is the most challenging competition we probably faced. But I'm pretty sure people will be able to overcome the challenges and prevail. That's why we have Vex Worlds. We're the best of the best in the world. We're the best in Vex Robotic. I mean, Vex IQ compete to determine who's the best. I want to first say. I'm getting off topic. I want to say congratulations for all the winners in Vex IQ and um, Vex um, EDR. These were great challenges this year. Sad I didn't get to compete in it. I'll, this is probably the, this is the second year I've been a part of Vex for well, been a part of Vex in some form. Last year I was competing. This year I was um, kind of like head and co-coaching. A team during an event. I gotta watch a lot of matches. I gotta. It's just. I gotta meet people. Um like a lot. Especially because I was working with a lot of IQ teams. I was working with our IQ teams back at Johnson. You just see the smile. On these kids face. Whenever they're having fun. And I think this is really what. This is what matters. Kids having fun and doing something that they love. Um. I know I'm getting off topic, but I feel like this is going to be a really fun game. A lot of people, there will be challenges for a lot of your elementary and middle schoolers, but they'll be able to overcome and like just competing and knowing that, and you get to show off your own creation. Because this is something, there's very little, little limitations. Now, size and all that's a limitation, but how you build your robot, the sky's the limit. I know I didn't go all in depth with this with VEX EDR, but for any competition, 
the sky's the limit. Well, vex wise, I don't not sure about like first and all that stuff. The sky's the well, I'm pretty sure first because that's basically the adult version of Vex EDR. But the sky's the limit with this competition. I think that we'll see a lot of real creative robots. Probably a lot of claws, maybe a lot of conveyor belt wise. Maybe like something we've seen from Skyrise. That's where I think they're I think they're really getting this game from Skyrise. Both games, um, from Skyrise. And also, um, that stack attack, I think. But, I know this video isn't the longest, it's going into 14 minutes, but, if I am, hopefully, able to be on a robotics team at Mail, because as you guys know, I've been wanting to get on a robotics team, they have I'm pretty sure they have I, mean, I know they have one it's just getting on it's the problem like nothing like academic wise but like just being able to like talk to the coach and stuff if I'm able to I'll more than likely give it I'll be able to talk to guys through our achievement success and all that stuff our development for building a vet I think vex vibe but that's enough hope you guys enjoy this video hope you guys like the comment. hope you guys subscribe for more um, hope, um, congratulations to everyone this week on the Vex Robotics competitions. You guys do a wonderful job. You guys are the best in the world at what you do. You guys are the people who show that we, I mean, what, basically how creative we are. We are, being in robotics, you're very creative. And it's also a very fun activity. Vex World is just showing that we are the that we have some of the best people in the world. I mean, we have people that are. I can't even put into words about how great people are, um, how well we perform, and how others perform. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys leave a comment. Hope you guys subscribe for more. This is Jared Dark Blade. Hopefully, I can get some more robotics on I mean, Vex and other competitions out for you guys. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. Out. Fail. Peace out.